Nga sinzi na mkuogira kwenga gala ulutula la parlamenti uluwa alero Speaker la zobu zibu obu enti ndezi zizu guamu nga teye nkuba buye yongiru kutonya And how ready are we as Ugandans The fact that it is happening in Kenya, in Tanzania, in everywhere How ready are we as Ugandans to mitigate the disaster that is happening in the country How are we going to handle it? So, it's a very serious matter. Ah, kuliroro dofuganya government mu parliament joero senyonyi. Ah, sabi government yo kutuo kilizebili monteka teka, ngaba teka waka chiko ka disaster preparedness commission. Nga kano keka gendo kuyamba kwa kubizibu ngabino. Ebi bamba na ebi gwate bilaze. Roads are caving in, and the situation is going to get a lot more problematic, right, Robo Speaker. As colleagues are saying that um, we need to find a separate budget for disaster preparedness, I want to suggest that even before we move in that direction, let's set a proper foundation. We need this commission in place because legally it's covered. We need that bill because it will help us. Right now, we want to deal with the short-term issues, which are important, like the Honorable Kaya was mentioning, desilty and all of that. That's important and it is short-term. But we need to deal with the long term. Ababako kubade David Diruchamu zikaru wanga neruta maguzi semakula. Balazo wuzibwe baita munge ntindo kungudo jiba chiki hida wuziguamu. Some of us we are going even to fail accessing our homes. The swamps are full. I cannot access my home from Chitenga. I cannot access my home from Mitiana. And if I cannot access my home as a member of parliament, what of our, our voters? Madam Speaker, we need to wake up. We have a lot of challenges as far as roads are concerned. And Madam Speaker, to summarize it, we need a, a clear statement of how these issues are going to be handled. This business of us coming here and we discuss issues and we leave them here, it looks awkward. Yes. A, 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 a bridge on River Mayanja that connects Nakaseke to Mitiana, it has already carved in and vehicles are no longer passing. So right honorable speaker, I think you know, I should also consider the people of Nakasik. Thank you. Mungeri ye maa baka abavira mambuka ga Uganda baburi de parliament inga weba sango obuzibu no lutindo lwe kaluma. Oru wa omo gosenga katitewa kilizi wana kujita ko. With the restrictions on the travel hours from 7 to 7. The second is the issue of the escalation of the travel charges, especially by the buses. For example, the proposed bus fare for Obongi to Kampala is going to double from 50,000 to 100,000, which is very, very prohibitive. The feasibility study of that dam did not take concern of the impact on the bridge itself. The bridge deteriorated faster than it was thought, and while this was brought to the attention of government in the 10th parliament, the status of that bridge, no action was uh, uh, took place since then. And this... Uh, Stoppages came very abruptly and it has disorganized the communities across. I know that the impact eventually will be that goods and services will be more expensive to the people. It will limit trade and I don't know in this already struggling economy how it will affect the people uh, are crossing the Nile. No, how far the disaster preparedness plan, because preparing for disaster is more important than responding. It is costly to respond. Now we have to spare money for bridges, for, for giving people food, for doing everything. Can we plan? Can we know the state in which that disaster plan has reached at the level of cabinet? Minister Mbezi Owebi Gwatebira Zeridiani Abem, alazenga webeta again simbi mumbali gendo kuisiwa, shoboze soko la kubintu nga binebi guawo. We need a budget. We can't do anything as a ministry if we don't have the budget. So far I have requests from members over 30, from 30 districts, and we are not able to do much right on the speaker. I would request this house to support the ministry with the relevant funding. Then we'll be able to, to respond. I'll physically be in their constituencies to Thank address you. the issues.